Good morning. Hope you're well. Today, Carrie is going to share this book with you, How to Hide a Lion. I hope you can all see the book and illustration properly. Hey, here we go. One hot day, a lion strolled into a market square to buy a hat. Why would a lion buy a hat? But that's not important. The most important thing is the town people were scared of lions. So he ran away. He ran away. The lion is running away. As a more shoulder, town people are chasing him too. He ran as fast as he could and hid in a house in a garden. And it was a playhouse. And it belongs to a small girl called Iris. Iris said, "You can't hide there, as if、uh, she's not scared of lions. The house is too small for you." They went inside, so Iris could hide the lion properly. I wonder where Iris is going to hide this lion. So they had to be quiet, as moms and dads can be funny about having a lion in the house. The lion let Iris pull the leaves out of his mane and shelter him, and taken out something sharp from his paw and put a plaster on that. And it wasn't easy hiding a lion, because he was just too big and too fluffy. Not just that, and it's too heavy, especially when he was asleep, as the lion sleeps a lot. But when no one was looking. The lion could come out to play. Look, he's using the bed as trampoline. They just had to be careful not to be too noisy. But one evening, Iris does say, "They still haven't found that lion." I bet it's a kind lion," said Iris. From behind the sofa, who is drawing the pictures with lion? There's no such thing as a kind lion," said her mom. "All lions will eat you." The lion was worried, but Iris comforted him. Then she read him his favorite story. And it was about a tiger who came to tea. He fell asleep halfway through because lions sleep a lot. And that was how everything went wrong. Let's see what is going to happen. Iris heard her mom coming up the stairs, but is hard to wake a sleeping lion. However. Most lions will wake up if a mom screams at them, and that's exactly what happened. Ah! When Iris's mom saw the lion, she let out a loud sound and screams. The lion raced out of the house. Can you see the lion? And found a hiding place. Where he could still see Iris, where whenever she came into town, nobody noticed him. Not the town people, not even Iris, and certainly not the two burglars who broke into the town hall and stole every single one of the Lord Mayor's candlesticks. But the lion noticed them, and I see what he's going to do. 
This is God. That exactly what He does. With a huge roar, roar, and stood on both the burglar till the police came. All the town people were amazed, except for Iris, who said, "I told you he was a kind of lion," and that surprised everyone. Now the lion was a hero. He didn't have to hide anymore. The town people held a special parade for him. The mayor said he could have anything he wanted, and the lion thought for a moment. Then he asked for, "What do you think he's going to ask for? A hat." Which was all he'd come to town for in the first place, looking for a hat, and it really suits you," said Iris, the lion, with a hat. I hope you enjoy the story. Imagine that you met this lion. Where would you hide him? That's the end of the story.